Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jogwe, I'm back with another quick insight. So every other day it seems like the motion capture industry continues to evolve, right? So here's a new system that uh, is being worked on and I think this is in preparation for Seagraph uh, this year 2023 and what's amazing is that this system is using a VR headset with hand controllers but what the result is is this system that it is able to detect contact between like different parts of the furniture you know there's no motion capture suit <laughs> this is all like artificial intelligence in action i suppose because it's like almost self-aware it's able to detect and it's like physics applied to an amazing amazing way because when we are doing motion capture usually you're preparing ahead of time like okay I, my character is going to be sitting on a chair somewhere and i have to line up with specific points on the ground but this is amazing because you can step like right now they're de demonstrating how you can step on a box and how the character automatically detects like the ground plane without you actually having to animate that part like that is automatic detection of a box by this system and you see there it is again <laughs> so this is incredible like there are no markers that are in telling the system this is where you're supposed to be but it's using physics as the, you're walking through the space it's able to detect obstacles and it's it actually responds accordingly right so i am blown away by the application of this this is not yet available to the marketplace but the more like a, like a research paper kind of thing but I've been looking at this like I'm blown away because now what I'm curious about, I see cameras up at the top, right? That are in this space. But I imagine that is for, uh, this is their like space where they do motion capture. So if this is entirely driven by the motion capture data being uh, d derived from the headset and the head dire uh, direction, and everything is procedural, everything else is procedural, that is amazing. So right now the controllers are playing a part in where the hands are, right? Just wherever the hands go. And then when she stands up, and now we're talking about, they're showing about the chair. This is, I am thrilled to see this because I liked doing VTubing and I'm, I've been trying to solve the issue of uh, my chair not moving. Usually you have to parent the character to the chair, but here there's no parenting. It's physics, like it comes in contact with the geometry and I suppose the geometry has to be ready, like rigged to be able to respond accordingly. But this is amazing that you, this in motion capture world is groundbreaking. We've never had anything like this that automatically, where a character automatically responds to the environment around it while you're wearing like a system of some kind, right? Now sitting on the floor, this is a tough one. But even then, you see how the IK is working? Like, look at that. They, I mean, you can see they're still working through some issues here, but this is amazing. Because those are things that usually you have to clean up after the fact with motion capture. And especially with inertia-based systems, you ha already have to deal with things like that. So not every system can do that now. They, uh, I believe the... Rokoko suit can do to a certain degree. There's perception neuron suit and uh, Xsense. The Xsense suit does a great job like when you're sitting down, but it doesn't, none of those suits detect the environment around them for the character to respond accordingly. So I can imagine recording the results on the left-hand side and then using that in your animation, knowing that the environment where you are acting out actually matches the set. I've, I saw like a video of uh, Matt Workman using this uh, really, really incredible system that's uh, uh, optical based. And he was re like sitting on a box, being able to tilt back on the chair, but he, you, he had to put markers on the chair to be able to do that. Even when he was holding the guitar, he was he, you had to put markers. But here, there, this is markerless. Like this is physics applied in a motion capture system that just blows my mind. And I don't know, I mean, I, I've been in this mock-up industry for a long time and I've seen different mock-up systems come and go, right? But this to me is, I think the next level of, of motion capture where the characters automatically respond to the environment and 
really that the tracking is coming from the device that you're wearing. Ult ultimately, I think you want this to actually apply to where maybe you don't even wear a device at all, you know, where you just walk into a room. Uh, I imagine that will require cameras too still, but <laughs> right? <laughs> so there are some cases where this system fails for sure. And there are cases where it does such a good job. And I can see the issues that they're trying to work, work through. But every other aspect of it is mind blowing, guys. So I would love to hear your comments, guys, what you think of this system, where you see the motion capture industry headed. Because uh, this, <laughs> like, look at the fit, you know, like how you lift your foot up, like in lab, for example, in iClone, you have to enable foot contact, same thing like in Motion Builder, but this is automatically detecting, detecting the ground. And when the feet are lifted, it's like the body, the bones are responding to the posture as well. And I mean, I, there were some cases where I saw like uh, interaction with uh, like, intersecting with the furniture, but that can be improved, right? Like right there. This is cool. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Uh, I, I just, I had to share this with you to show you where the motion capture industry is hated. What amazing time to be alive, right? Every other day I wake up, it seems like something new is just coming. But then I like that they showed the failure cases, you know, where they, what they are working through. So, Man, yes, I think this to me speaks to the dreams that we have. Like when you have, like uh, you're working through solving a certain story idea, but then you're working through things, you don't give up. And I'm so grateful for this team never gave up. Thank you for joining me today. As always, dare to dream big, guys. Never give up on your dream. I'm continuously praying for you. Please stay safe. What an amazing time to be alive. <laughs> See you in my next video. And bye for now. My goodness, this is amazing. Bye for now.